I want to paint a little picture for you. Um, imagine a space where you can smell incense sticks, you can smell dhoop. You're looking at marigold flowers everywhere around you. There are people walking bare feet. Uh, the music is almost spiritual, right? You could think I'm talking about a temple, but it's not. It's many of uh, the shows, the fashion shows that Gorang does. He had one very, very recently in Mumbai as well. And that's what it looked like. It's spiritual. And Gorang, so my first question to you is, uh, you know, we know your love for Indian textile and handloom, but you're always telling the India story, even through your shows. So please talk to us about that. Namaste and good afternoon to all. I started at a very young age. I must be about 10, 11 year old. My father had a beautiful small store for matching center. In those times, this is, I'm talking about 83, 84. Uh, women used to get their saris to match blouse pieces, blouse material. And at that time, it's a small store with, like you say, red, hundreds of red shades, greens, like, full colorful and people get their saris, women get their saris to match and that's where I started, fast. I got fascinated about the saris, this whole six meters of canvas, this artist started growing in me, there were different number of different kinds of weaves all over India and you get that sari and I have to match, my father taught me between the 200 thumbs of red you have to match the exact shade because the lady will not compromise, Mujhe exact chahiye karke. Yeah. and that's where I learned about the textiles, the textures, the colors, the different weaves what you we have and believe me what India has nowhere in the world we have Absolutely. every few kilometers you go you get to see different kinds of textiles, different weaves, different textures, different techniques and that's what started growing in me when at that age. After a few years, I opened my own store. Continuing the textiles, the plain, instead of the plain fabrics, we people now wanted to have some design blouse pieces. Yeah. So I went all over India to source for those fabrics, but could not find anyone weaving fabrics. I bought saris from the weavers and started rolling them into thans and started selling them as blouse material. And then when it was, people loved this whole concept of a design blouse fabric, I went back to the weavers and gave my design inputs and color inputs. People love that whole concept. Mm -hmm. And some of my customers started pushing me, hey, Gaurang, you have such a good eye for the textiles, you know what colors to do, what designs are. So why don't you weave saris? Right. And that was a big push I got because I was always fascinated by this whole six meters of textile in front of you, which where you can design any kind of thought you have. Hmm. Hmm. And I met a weaver from Upara, Andhra Pradesh. Hmm. This is the year 2000, 2001. And uh, I, I bought from some saris from him to sell. I said, let me start with this. Hmm. But then my customer said, why will I buy a sari which you have buying from a weaver? We want something which you have put your thoughts your and your signature. process into it. Your signature in that My sense. My signature. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm uh, interrupting to ask a question. Uh, you started in a way innovating right at that moment when you decided to put the sari weave in a thand, right? So is there resistance? Because what happens with traditional art forms like handloom and textile, people have been doing it as generation. Right. So was there resistance when it came to artisans and weavers in adapting to the methods that you were teaching them? See, whenever I start working any, with any new cluster, any new weaver, there will always be that resistance. Hmm. Ki immediately they will not take up a new design or a new yarn to do or a new color. So what I have to do is I have to work with their designs, what they have been weaving since long time with what their heritage is, what they say slowly get the weaver into confidence ki dekho abhi aapka ye jo chal raha hai bahut saalon se theek hai chal raha hai but to sustain you need to change also yeah logon ko ladies jab aati hai kharidne saadi to they want something new every time they buy hmm. kuch naya design chahiye same old design same color same texture nahi chalega hmm. so after a few months or so i explain to them dekhiye aapne ye design bana liya bahut time se 
अब लेट्स चेंज इट इट लिटिल मोर न्यू कंटेम्प्रेरी डिजाइन या कलर चेंज करते हैं यान चेंज करते हैं कुछ डिफरेंट लुक आते हैं सो यू ऑल्सो गेट कंटिन्यूस वर्क माई कस्टमर इज ऑल्सो हैप्पी एंड देन दे अंडरस्टैंड दैट so mm-hmm. that is a slow process within a year or two then they are agreeing to changing the design then changing the colors then then changing the yarn mm-hmm. and then when i tell them chalo aapki jo jamdani ki saadi hai let me add some more different kind of a different weave technique to this right so i do the fusion i get a weaver from srikakulam who does the jamdani on khadi with a pattern weaver who does the patani in silk both different kinds of jamdani is put together right or i do a kanjivaram with a kota from rajasthan So that's what's beautiful about your work, right? He literally can bring weaves from any part of the country and put them together in a way that only he can. Uh, that is now your signature. That's what your customer is coming to yes. you for. So tell me how. I mean, ye mix match because before sari or blouse karte the. Is it so because I, of that? So I I do fusion of different weaves. Different. I can do hand paint textures on a different weave. I can do embroideries. it's just that mujhe ye hai ki i need to sustain my weavers need to sustain and ye jo dharohar hai hamari jo itne purshon purkhon se aa rahi hai hamari i don't want it to get lost right people tell kabhi bhi baat hoti hai handloom ki people say weaver ko kaam nahi milta hai weaver weaver suicide kar rahe hain unko koi kaam nahi le koi handloom ki saari nahi karta that's all all wrong things what is going spreading around weavers are there you need to give them work You need to come up with ideas. Weaver का काम है weaving करना. उसका काम designing करना नहीं है. Designing हम देंगे हमारा. Hmm. Marketing हम करेंगे. Weaver अपने loom पे बैठ के weave करेगा. और हम उनको आगे लेके जाएंगे साथ में. Right. Uh, आपने काफी जगह invest भी किया है. I think you put up your own manufacturing unit as well. And I want to understand how has that been as a business decision for you? Because uh of course you know there is the art part of it but running a label is also a business decision so take me through if that's actually resulted in an improvement in your goals so generally any village you go to the weaving sector you go to har weaver ke ghar mein uska loom hai ghar mein baith ke weave kar raha hai those are the traditional weavers who have been weaving since their ancestors hmm. i needed to get in more weavers because that was not sufficient for me तो हमने क्या किया वो गांव के जो विमेन है स्पेशली विमेन यहाँ पे मेल नहीं विमेन हमने विमेन को ट्रेन किया है हु हैव नेवर बीन फ्रॉम एनी वीवर फैमिली एनी वीवर कम्युनिटी दे वेर वर्किंग एज लेबर इन फील्ड्स या सब्जी बेचती थी हमने उनको जमा किया एक फैसिलिटी तैयार किया वहां पे वी हैव ट्रेन देम एंड उनके लिए फिर एक बड़ी फैसिलिटी क्या प्रोडक्शन करने के लिए बिकॉज उनके घर इतने छोटे से हैं और उनकी फैमिली कभी अलाउ भी नहीं करती कि मेरे घर पे हम वीवर को रखें और लूम लगाएं और काम करें तो हमने क्या किया एक पूरा एक फैसिलिटी तैयार किया एंड फॉर मी टू मॉनिटर ऑल्सो बिकम्स ईजी ये क्या होते हैं छोटे छोटे गाँव पॉकेट्स होते हैं आई कान कीप गोइंग टू ईच एंड एवरी वीवर्स हाउस टू मॉनिटर की कितना काम हो रहा है सो इट बिकम्स ईजी है कि हम सब लोगों को एक जगह एक शेड में काम करते हैं उसमें एक और काम हो एडवांटेज हमारा हो जाता है आई गेट वीवर्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट अदर सेक्टर्स टू कम एंड ट्रेन देम इन टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स आल्सो सो फॉर दैट आल्सो इट बिकम्स इजी वी डू रेगुलर ट्रेनिंग सेशंस एंड इट बिकम्स लाइक अ होल टेक्सटाइल हब ऑफ इंडिया आई ट्राई टू गेट इट इन टू वन वन दिस कम्युनिटी Well, that sounds wonderful, and you're obviously empowering uh, a lot of communities uh, through that. Uh, but we're sitting in a hall where there are a lot of young people as well, right? And uh, I want to get your take on how you would like to communicate to younger generations what the value of our looms is, because we do live in the world of fast fashion. See, as I said, this is our traditional, this is our heritage, what has come in, and wherever I have gone to give talks, I give lectures at these design schools where. all these young uh, upcoming students are learning about textiles and fashion i said when we have so much of richness here in india so much of variety like take the case of our khadi fabric khadi is such a versatile fabric that you can do anything with it you can dye over dye print embroidery painting weaving jo karna chaho karo kuch nahi hone wala hai when we have such a beautiful textiles of india yahan pe jo hai why to copy the west right we have a sari for a for indian women wo unke liye hi bana hai unki body shape ke liye hi bana hai then why do we want to go and wear those gowns which the western country jo pehn banati hai pehnti hai why do we need to copy that hamara khud ka hi itna acha 
हेरिटेज है यहाँ पे वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू गेट दोज फैब्रिक्स फ्रॉम चाइना विच आर ऑल मशीन मेड अवर हैंड वोवन फैब्रिक्स हैव लाइफ इन इट Truth is that uh, handwoven is also expensive, right? I That's mean, a wrong notion. No, okay. A big, good, basic khadi so, fabric. So, can you compare that with an H and M T-shirt, for example? Good basic khadi hmm. fabric costs about 150 rupees per meter. Hmm. And usko dhote jaiye, and it becomes so soft and so soft at every wash, you will not feel like throw, throwing it up after wearing so many times. Hmm. Like the matka fabric, like the linen what I am wearing. Right. It's so beautiful, so handwoven, and it is all basic. Yeah. Whereas your China ka crepe and all, nothing is less than thousand fifteen hundred per meter. Mm. So uh, I understand from the design process what you're saying, but I'm saying for people who consume fast fashion, because I understand for you sustainability is also a big driver, right? But fast fashion, we know what it's doing to the world around us. So what's your message to younger children who do want to literally, you know, change design? Isme bhi to fast hai. Isme bhi to fast hai. Kya fast slow hai? Bolo. Kya slow hai? Yahan pe bhi to sab kuch fast hai. Your basic fabric, how much time does it take to weave? And here, pe to you are giving life to those weavers. No, you are giving daily wages to your weavers. Usko kam mil raha hai. Machine to nahi hai na yahan pe. Right. Sab log jo banate hain China mein na jo banata hai, sab kuch is machine made there, right? This is handmade. Your two people are sitting, husband, wife, father, son. They are sitting. They are putting their story into it. They are giving life to a fabric. So there is an education required for yes, the customer. Yes. How, how do you? Do I that? had to told this government, the present central government, the textile ministry also, that your government, which offices me work, their uniform shirts, whole handloom, give them. What a brilliant idea yeah. that is. Your yeah. school uniform, for children, give them. 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 Tell them right. the parents buy. Hmm. So why not have this handloom? So how much will it be? Right. Acha, ye bataiye. Abhi apne kuch saal pehle diversify karna bhi shuru kiya. You've gone into restaurants. You've gone into home. What was the motivation behind that? See, this is all part of a design. Hmm. I am not education wise. I am an architect. I have done architecture. I went off into textiles. So. Then I started a restaurant where I design my food. Then I have started a home collection. Again, it's design. Hmm. So for me, it's design is not restricted to only for me for my textiles. Hmm. It is a big knowledge. Ki design hai, and you can do anything with your design, your thought hmm. process. Hmm. Is it also to expand the market for yourself? See, I'm a very bechain person. <laughs> huh? I get up three three thirty in the morning. Then that's when I start getting ideas. By eight o'clock, I'm in my office. My design team comes. My drawing team comes. I have 15 artists who draw for me, or my thoughts are put on the paper. I give them the work, then they start doing that. I attend to clients, whoever wants to meet me. Hmm. Otherwise, I'm free then. So hmm. I have that bechaini ki mujhe aur naya karna hai, mujhe kuch aur explore karna hai, and that's why I get into wherever design is possible. Hmm. I have designed houses. I have designed food every day. My menu is made set by me every day. Then I wow. do this home collection. I have done many, many things. Wow! We all want your energy, don't we? Uh, Gorang, we uh, see that in the digital world, the way fashion is sold has changed incredibly. How have you adapted to that? I don't sell online. Hmm. ठीक है, marketing हम करते हैं social media पे, but uh, I'm against this online thing. Why? Especially for my product, what I create. I want people to come to the store, and when you are purchasing a sari, see, it's a very emotional thing for a lady to purchase something. A, a koi bhi kapda khareed na ho. I am not sort of a person ki mujhe bhi ek shirt khareed na to at a click of button mai khareed lunga. I would like to go to the store, feel the fabric, pehen ke uska ham uh, fit dekhna chahenge. The same way the lady would like to come to the store, ek 30-40 sari khola chahegi, uska design, uska color, uske upar suit hoga ya nahi hoga. बट आजकल ये बहुत हो चुका है सोशल मीडिया और ये डिजिटल ये सब के ऊपर से कि ओके दीपिका हैज वोन दिस ड्रेस सो इट विल सूट मी आई विल आल्सो वांट टू वेयर दैट राइट एंड आई सी दैट्स अ रॉन्ग थिंग वो नहीं होता है एंड देन दे रिग्रेट आल्सो सो आई एम अगेंस्ट ऑल दैट मुझे ये है कि हम आई एम वेरी ओल्ड टाइम पर्सन जो हमारे जमाने का था अभी के नहीं कि आप दुकान जाएंगे चार दो घंटे बैठेंगे उसके साथ वहां पे पूरा देखेंगे पर आपको लगता है उससे आपका स्केल जो है वो कम होता है बिकॉज़ देयर ओनली दैट मेनी ब्रिक एंड मोर्टर स्टोर्स दैट यू कैन ओपन 
Yeah, at one point of time before COVID, I have 12 stores running all over India, all over the world I had. Hmm. But it's okay. No, I'm not a digital person. No, it's not possible. Okay, good, good. I, I like hearing this different philosophy uh, from you. Uh, also in recent years, we've seen that fashion designers are now thinking one of scaling. You, you know, we've heard your view on that. But they're also thinking about what their legacy is, right? business kaise badega? Some of them have gone into the corporate world. They've got investment. Um, they're doing, you know, adopting other methods. So when you think of your legacy, how is the Gaurav Shah label going to move forward? I don't think so. It's going to move forward because I have not found anyone I have not found anyone second to me to take this forward. See, what I have learned is I am not, I'm not from any textile design school. No hmm. one has taught me this. Hmm. That passion, that fire, what I have, I have not seen in anyone till now. Hmm. I have hands down learned, of, learned every technique of weaving what is possible in India by staying in the villages, going to the looms, Pura it, ek ek technical detail seekha hai. I have been to so many this NIFTs and I was on the board of governor of NIFTs or NIFT also. I've been to these so many design schools. I have spoken to hundreds of students. Not even one person I could find who has that fire ki mujhe handloom mein kaam karna hai, mujhe jo weavers jo karte hai, usko ek change lana hai ya uski aage bada ke leke jana hai. I have got these three, four big companies who wanted to invest in me, but their first question was after you, who? Right. When I said no one, chod ke chale ke. so I don't know till I'm there. It's but then, okay. but then that's worrying, right? And, it and is worrying is... because we have so much, but we don't have anyone who will take this. Again, I'm going to repeat the question, but it's scary, right? And this is why I was referring to the fast fashion bit because the next generations are not being able to value perhaps what we have in terms of these art forms. So, uska kya solution hai? I see that that next generation jo bhi hai aur aage aane wali hai, wo log nahi khareedne wale, nahi isko aage badane wale hai. I have I see that when I started with the saris in 2003-4, I have was in full production and all. Those were it was almost 20 years back when a bride used to come uski trozo ke liye tabhi at least 15-20 saris lete the. Dire, dire, dire. Now is the time they buy only one sari. Ek sari pe aage, kyunki mother-in-law insisted you have to wear sari for the main function, or else it's become all gowns, ghagras, embroidery, western clothes. Hmm. So I have seen that it's going down slowly. Hmm. So what role can South India play in reviving these art forms? Because so many of these rich forms actually come from this the region. The most of the weaving sectors, what we call, are all in South. Exactly. The number of different techniques are in South. The innovation happens here. I'm a Gujarati from Kutch, but based in Hyderabad. And believe me, this is what I always, I, I can't be moved out of here. This is where the creativity is there. Yep. The Let's South is there. Claps can be louder. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So. No, I think we all need to get together, think hard about this because th these art forms, these textiles, these handlooms are priceless for us as Indians, whether you're sitting in the North or in the South. Uh, we will end this session here, Gaurang, with a thank you for doing your bit thank and you. doing it with so much passion. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to Rangsha.